today let's talk on day 3 embryo versus a blastocyst so uh, once the oocyte is collected in the lab and it is fertilized with a male partner sperm it is called a zygote and uh, this zygote then undergoes cell division it becomes a two cell and then a four cell eight cell usually when it reaches a six to eight cell embryo and uh, this happens on uh, day 3 post retrieval so this is called the day 3 embryo so uh, if this embryo is allowed for further culture in the lab it later becomes a morilla on day 4 and the blastocyst usually develops by day 5 or day 6 so most of the patients you know they are a uh, little worried uh, that uh, which embryo to choose for an embryo transfer should they go for a day 3 or a blastocyst if you look at a natural pregnancy the uh, embryo usually comes to the uterine cavity at on the day 5 or day 6 stage that is the blastocyst stage so that is the most physiological or the natural time where the embryo connects with the endometrium which is a layer of the uterus so this is called as synchronicity of the embryo to the endometrium so definitely the blastocyst stage embryo transfer would be the most ideal but is it achievable for all sometimes no because today we are seeing lot of patients who are coming at an advanced stage that is women who are coming more than 37 years so once you cross that age there will be a decreasing egg reserve there will be a decreasing egg quality now both are very important for your IVF outcome because the more number of eggs and the embryos that you have that is when you will have better number and quality of the blastocysts that develop but does it mean that a day 3 embryo will never implant in the uterus no because see IVF has been there since 1978 and if you look at blastocyst it has been only recently that we have been doing all the blastocyst transfers what started out as a day 2 embryo transfer or a day 3 embryo transfer so all, all over the world we have had many successful pregnancies with the day 3 embryo transfer so women who are of advanced age where you don't have an embryo conversion from day 3 to day 5 in any of your IVF cycle you can still opt to go for a day 3 embryo transfer and have a reasonably good outcome